Hare Krishna. Uh, Asasaki Devadasi is asking uh, about the Brahmanas, uh, the sacrificial Brahmins who first obstructed their wives from going to meet Krishna, but then later really regretted their conduct, their behavior, and recognized that their wives were actually spiritual superior to them. Did they get the chance to meet Krishna? No. Uh, Maybe they would have had the chance, but the fact is they didn't. And, And why they didn't is very important, as with everything in the Bhagavatam, is very important and very relevant to our spiritual development. Uh, The reason uh, that uh, they didn't take the opportunity is they were afraid. They were afraid. What would Kamsa think? Because ultimately they were Brahmins, so they were being maintained uh, by the king, Uh, Their village was on the outskirts of uh, Brindavan, and they probably did all kinds of ritualistic uh, things uh, in Mathura as well. And uh, they were concerned if we ally with Krishna, if we're heard or seen uh, to mix with Krishna, then that won't be very good for us. So they didn't go. And so they weren't surrendered. Uh, and therefore they remain Brahmins who, all right, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who just happened to have appeared next door. But anyway, uh, that's, that's another issue, got nothing to do with us. So, uh, and, and they continue, they continue in their ritualistic sacrifices and the materialistic way of life. At best, they're materialistic devotees, but you can't even say that because there's no record of them uh, chanting uh, about Krishna, hearing about Krishna. Uh, the relevance to us is that to become a devotee, like the gopis, like the brahmanis, we have to ally with Krishna and that will mean, not may mean, but it will mean uh, that we are, we are no longer uh, part of the society that uh, we live in. We're not integrated into society, but rather we're an alternate uh, society, a Krishna conscious society, a Varnashram society. And uh, the result of that is uh, is that people are going to think, why these people dress so strange? Uh, why do they chant these weird mantras? What about these weird statues uh, that they worship? Uh, they'll criticize our way of life. Now, no doubt, for the sake of preaching, we really try to, well, we use this word bridge, bridge preaching. Uh, we try to reach out to them a certain way, but in terms of our principles, our standards were very fixed. And even in terms of how much we're willing to go on the bridge, uh, that's also limited. Uh, so at a certain point, we say no, we, we stop. Uh, and what's the consequences? Well, who knows? We just depend on Krishna. Uh, and for us, Krishna is number one, and he's he's everything. He's our life, he's our way of conduct, he's our worship, uh, and what pleases Krishna is what's important to us, not other uh, materialistic considerations. So it's an important point, uh, something that's certainly very relevant. We find ourselves... uh, uh, like the Bridge Bassies, they were a minority in a uh, world uh, surrounded by demons who were antagonistic towards the kind of beliefs that they practiced, but they never sacrificed them. Uh, they never for one moment uh, gave up Krishna as the sinister of all of their activities. And that's one thing that we can with, l- learn uh, from this particular pastime. Hare Krishna.